Hey guys, Craig Dye here with Team New Canoe, and I want to talk about my favorite way to catch fish in a kayak, and that's shallow crankbait fishing. So when you're throwing crankbait shallow, probably the most important thing you have is your rod and reel setup. Having the correct rod with the right reel, with the right line, really helps you get those fish in the kayak. My rod of choice for throwing shallow crankbaits is a seven foot medium moderate action rod. Here I have the St. Croix Legend Glass cranking rod built perfectly for throwing you know, crankbaits off of wood off a of rock, whatever, you know, whatever those fish are around. Any good medium action rod, you want a moderate tip because you want that bait to be able to hit those rocks and be able to bounce off easy, you know, so you can get that reaction bite. When it comes to the line, I actually use monofilament line. Yes, it still works. People still catch fish on monofilament line. I like it because it's inexpensive. Um, I change it a lot. I probably change it, you know, every two or three months. And I like it because it, it casts really, really far. And it's just easy to manage, especially, you know, in cold water, you know, in uh, really cold weather. The monofilament just does a great job. So, yeah, monofilament, 10 or 12 pound line. When it comes down to the reel, I'm a big believer of spending a little more to have a quality reel that will last you and that you can, you can cast well. Uh, I feel the inexpensive reels are hard to cast and they just don't last. So, um, you know, invest, you know, in a good lose reel or Abu Garcia, um, you know, a lot of good brands out there. But that $100 to $200 range. I really recommend for a baitcaster. Um, this is a 6 8 to 1. It seems a little fast, but your kayak's always moving forward. So when you hook a fish, you want to be able to you know, keep up with that fish. So I use a 6 8 to 1 uh, lose reel. It works great. I stick with pretty much two brands. I like Strike King and I like Rapala. I love the uh, Strike King 1.0s, the 1.5s, and the 2.5s. And then the Rapala Brats are a really, really, really cool square bill. Um, they have a balsa core. That balsa, you know, it floats a lot faster than a regular plastic crankbait. So it helps actually when you do get hung, you let you put your rod down and that bait will just pop out of that tree. Um, it's pretty awesome. So, you know, check those out. But um, yeah, the colors, I really stick with basic colors. I like any type of shad color. I'll always have a chartreuse with a black back. And then I will also have, you know, a red, you know, crawfish color for, you know, early spring, springtime. What's cool about throwing crankbait shallow is you can go behind a lot of anglers and catch fish. And the reason is, is that deflection factor. You want that bait to hit off anything it can and it just shoots left or right. And the fish sometimes just, they just can't stand it. And um, being able to cast well is very important. When you're, when you're around laydowns, around concrete, around rocks, you want to be able to put that bait exactly where it goes every single time and get those fish to bite. So where do you throw a square bill crankbait? That's a good question. I'm a big believer of uh, chasing the wind when it comes to catching fish and catching fish that want to eat. So when I go to a lake, first thing I do is I look at the wind direction. And if I think the fish are feeding shallow, let's just say it's, a, it's springtime or it's cloudy or it's just one of those days where you know the fish are going to be shallow, I love fishing a wind-blown bank. So that's the first place I'm gonna go. No matter if it's rock on there, if there's wood, riprap, whatever it is, I'm going there to fish, because you know that all that bait, all that water's being stirred up, there's gonna be fish around there on a wind-blown bank. So that's one thing to focus on. Another way to find fish is to use your depth finder. Um, just motor around, paddle around, pedal around, whatever it is. When you start seeing bait, in that shallow, you know, three, four, five, six, you're seeing shad, you're seeing stuff pop on the bank, there's gonna be fish there. So get out your square bill, cover water, find the bait, and you're gonna catch them. Big one. Big one. Oh. And he hit it so hard, just parallel on this bank. That's what you want right there. Let me tell you, this is my favorite way to catch fish in a kayak. I feel you can be more efficient than any other lure, cover more water, hit more targets, 
and get those fish that don't want to eat to bite. And that's what it's all about, is getting more fish in the kayak.